Hey guys, so it's time to do a quick little speed test here between the uh, Galaxy S6 here on the, the, the white one here with the, uh, with the Note 5 ROM and then the stock ROM here on the other S6. So let's just start them up here, check out the speed. Let's go. So the Note 5 ROM seems to be a bit faster here. Let's just try to do a restart there because that, looked, that was a little bit weird. That one welcome up again or whatever what that was. That was weird. Yeah, the Note 5 ROM still delivers one more time. It is faster here. Uh, let's see here. Now it's even slower. Uh, the stock version. At least I'm pretty sure it's stock. Okay, so let's take a look at these also. Uh, by the speed here so first of all let's just go in here and check out what they're running and a 5.1.1 here and this one i'm not even sure if it says and a 5.1.1 also okay sweet so let's just go out here let's just open up some apps we have the phone app we do have the camera app I can't really tell which one is faster there, but let's try the double tap here to open up the camera. I mean, I kind of get a feeling that the Note 5 ROM here is uh, performing better. Uh, you can see the newer icons here that you do get in the Note 5 ROM. Uh, so that is nice. And you can also see you do have uh, more icons that you can see in here because there's not a row here, it's just four. And here we do have five, so you can see more apps here in uh, in this one. Uh, you can also see, of course, we do have some apps here that only is designed for the Note 5, which I am going to pick up sometime here. Uh, S-Note and SideSync, we don't get uh, any of that. And also Samsung Gear to connect with the Samsung uh, Watch. So that's good to know. Let's open up the gallery here. Of course, with Samsung's new TouchWiz uh, inside the S6, uh, it's performing really well. So in here, you can see here uh, how sometimes the menus is a little bit smaller here in the Note 5 ROM. That's just because the probably the Note 5 it has a bigger display, 5.7 inch. So that means that some of the UI stuff is a little bit smaller. I kind of enjoy it actually uh, when it is a little bit smaller. It looks uh, kind of cool there see here oh yeah i haven't even connected a play store here if we go into the settings you can see of course overall it's not like major differences but one of them here of course you say how oh, we can go in and see some battery info here and you don't get exactly that in uh, the stock s6 version and you can also see you do get some s note stuff here like the s pen stuff of course only for note 5 you of course you don't get that inside of the s6 you still have of course the standard search here a standard kind of keyboard so that is uh, great there uh, but yeah quickly look there checking it out most apps uh, also seems to be looking uh, the same from my experience. I'm just gonna open up the internet app here. So you can see them side by side. If 
if you just open up GSM Arena here. Both have the same kind of uh, UI. Okay, the tabs might look a little bit different here in, in the colors. Uh, if you check out the multitasking as well, you can see it is identical. So yeah, it's a quick video checking that out. Hope you enjoyed and um, have a nice day. Peace.